today I'm going to show you how you can get slimmer thighs. The secret, this seven minute inner thigh workout. I personally use the exercises in this routine to transform my legs as you can see in the transformation image. Okay, so let's get ready and jump straight into this workout. Okay guys, so the first workout that we're going into today is standing front kicks and side kicks. So what I want you to do is alternate between each leg. So you're going to kick forward and then to the side, forward and to the side. We're going to be performing each workout back to back for one minute in total. Now with this move, make sure that there is a slight bend in your knees so you are almost in a ski-like squat position so we're burning those inner thighs. Make sure to contract your core as well during this entire workout for the stability of when you are kicking forward and to the side. Right, now we're going straight into plie, so all I want you to do is go down into a squat like position and up. But with a plie, what you want to do is you want to tuck your glutes in. So you don't want to be squatting back into a chair, you just want to be bringing your hips down and keeping them straight. Again, with this move, make sure you are contracting your core, you're exhaling as you're coming up and you're really squeezing your glutes and your thighs when you are driving back up. Now we're just going to pulse here for one minute. I know that seems like a long time, but trust me, we do want to burn out the fat and the muscle in our legs. So just pulse up and down, up and down. Try and go as low as you can in this plie position. going, a couple more, excellent, for the next week we're going to go into a side lunge and then bring your knee in, so side lunge, bring the knee up and then repeat on the other side, so we're just alternating between each leg, now this move is going to really help to target the outer side of your thighs as well as your glute and the knee contraction up towards your chest is also going to help to engage your abs and also focus on stability. Again, we are repeating this for one minute, so I want you to go at your own pace, really think about the mind-muscle connection and engaging with your leg muscles. Excellent. The next move we're going into is crisscross crunches. So I want you to come onto your back and all I want you to do is stay in a crunch position with your head up and just bring your legs crossing over, out, cross over the other foot. Now this is really good at targeting the inner thighs. It does burn, especially after a minute, but trust me, just keep your legs up and going as much as you can. Now if you do want to challenge your core, you can stay up in a crunch-like position with your head up and if that's too much of a challenge for you, that's no problem. Just keep your head back on the floor. Make sure to suck the navel into the spine and have your back nice and flat on the floor. 
keep the toes pointed and just cross them over each other every single time. Great work guys, now we're going to come onto one side and all I want you to do is lift the bottom leg up and down for one minute straight and this is going to help to really burn out the inner thigh muscle once again. Now this is actually one of my favourite moves for the inner thighs because I really feel like it does target that muscle. Keep your foot nice and pointed and just keep going up, down, up, down, up, down. Again, keep that core contracted, suck the navel into your spine. I don't want you just relaxing too much. We want to make sure all of our muscles are engaged during this workout. I know this is an absolute burner, but that's exactly what we want. If it's burning, it means it's working. Now let's switch over straight to the other side for the final move. So same thing again, just lifting up that bottom leg. That's it guys, keep going. Remember this is the last workout that you are doing and then you will be done with this leg workout. So keep lifting that leg. I know it burns, but just push through it. And that's it guys, you are done. Well done for completing this move. Let's just stretch it out a bit. Make sure to do a cool down straight after and have some water. If you liked this workout, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button. Also, if you want exclusive weight loss content, then head over to my website, hollydonkey.com to sign up now. It's free. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. Which one of these exercises did you find the hardest? Let me know in the comments below.